Have you ever been in a situation where you are dating? Like I might have been dating a couple guys at the time and I was stuck between two guys. Have you ever been stuck between two guys and not knowing who to choose? I'm gonna let y'all think about that real quick. Um, y'all think about that and then we're gonna get into that tea right after I show you guys these awesome makeup brushes that I recently just got and fell in love with. Okay? My enemy pray on me, so pray for me. Tick, tick, wait on it. Hey Spice Squad, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Nayel. Make sure you guys press that subscribe button down below and press the bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. Okay y'all, so I am here to basically show y'all these poppin' makeup brushes that I just got and they have just been amazing. But as I show you these makeup brushes, I'm gonna kinda do like a get ready with me. I'm gonna do like a soft light beat on my face and talk to y'all about tea, okay? And I don't know if it, it's not really recent tea. It's not recent tea. It's past tea. And I just want to uh, make a public service announcement. When I tell y'all about like relationship stuff, that like things that I have been through with like crazy exes, crazy exes, girlfriends, and so on, I never talk about like the present for the most part. I always talk about the past. So this is nothing that I'm wrapped up in now. But I do have a question for y'all before we get into these makeup brushes and get into the tea. Have you ever been in a situation where you are dating nothing like super serious but just like dating around so like i might have been dating a couple guys at the time and i was stuck between two guys have you ever been stuck between two guys and not knowing who to choose i'm gonna let y'all think about that real quick um y'all think about that and then we're gonna get into that tea right after i show you guys these awesome makeup brushes that i recently just got and fell in love with okay oh. let me show y'all before i open it so this is this cute leather case that the makeup brushes came in and by the way these are the patricia shanice makeup brushes i already did my makeup with them before y'all and i really really liked how my makeup went on with these brushes but we're just gonna get into it so excuse if you excuse me if you see a little makeup on them like because this was spick and span but i got, did get some makeup on them you lift this up and voila here they are all of them have her signature logo Trying to make this clear. Patricia Shanice. And guess what, y'all? A little razzle-dazzle for the Glamour Queens. They all had these at the bottom, which I just thought were really cute. So, this is like a patent leather, the shiny material, and then they're matte down here, which I really like for gripping. Like, it's not like super light, loose. Like, if your hand is on this part, which a lot of makeup brushes have this kind of material, I'm not sure the material, but if you're like sweaty or if your hands are moist, you know, you're touching a lot of product, this matte part, it just makes it really easy for gripping. You get nine makeup brushes. I'll pull them all out. So, you got your eyebrow pencils, your shadow pencils. You get all of these and you get these three big brushes like for your foundation, your blush, your bronzer. And they are a synthetic mixed blend and they're 100% vegan so we not hurting the animals. Period. We don't do that over here. The brushes are super soft. And like when I first looked at them I'm like hmm they look a little prickly. But they're not. They're super soft and you can just tell that they're like high quality. They're like quality brushes because I have some low quality brushes. You know what I'm going to show you one. And it's funny because it's like I use it, <laughs> I've used it before and I'm not going to show the name of it. But this brush right here I use for my bronzer but it hurt. it's like a prickle, it's like prickly and it kind of hurts compared to this one which is very soft and doesn't feel harsh on my skin. This one feels, oh let me not show it. This one is harsh on my skin. But I have a new bronzer brush so I don't need to use it anymore, it's actually going to trash. <laughs> but yes super super soft and when I did my makeup the first time with them what sold me on them and really had me wanting to recommend these brushes to people is that the product comes off I swear you get like 95% of your product off of the brush and some brushes that I've used in the past they absorb my product and I have to use more product and our products that our makeup products are expensive but those other brushes that I've used they absorb my product causing me to use more product than I, than necessary these brushes, I don't have to use as much product. In the product that I use, I'm gonna get most of it off the brush. And that's just on period, okay? Okay? 
So shout out to Patricia Shanice for sending me these brushes. I love them. I'm gonna continue to use them. I'm gonna continue to recommend these to my girls. All my girls do makeup. And I'm not like the type of girl that goes like crazy expensive on buying like makeup products, makeup tools, and all the fancy makeup stuff we need to make us look glamorous. But I can say that these makeup brushes are definitely worth the $30. And I think that's a very affordable price for these brushes and makeup brushes in general because you do get quality. You wanna make sure you have something that's quality and that is gonna last long. You feel me? And these makeup brushes will do the trick. And this is a black owned business, BLM, Black Lives Matter, period. And the shipping for these brushes came super, super fast. And just check out her Instagram page. I will tag her business page and her personal page right here, also in my description box. And I'll also put the link so you can just click it and purchase your makeup brushes today. Okay, ladies, so let's get into this face. I'm gonna beat my face with these beautiful brushes and you'll see the outcome. I also have a short clip on my Instagram page as well. I'll link that down below so you can check out how my face looked then and then how's my look now? It's gonna be popping. It's gonna be a similar face because I don't really do dramatic. One, I don't know how to. And two, a natural soft look for me is all I really think that I need. Okay. Okay, let me throw my braids back as I attempt to do my face and tell y'all about these guys. Okay, so y'all, there was a time in my life where I was dating multiple guys. I had like just became single out of a long-term relationship. And I was really seeing that like, I get niggas. And I didn't know the potential I had in getting niggas. <laughs> but I was getting niggas. <laughs> I seen like the power that I had and I didn't abuse it. I didn't think I did. Y'all, and this is when I, I was like in the world and I was just living my best life. I ain't know too much about nothing but having fun, okay? So, anyways, I had, like I said, I recently seen like, you know, I get niggas and I was out here dating. Now, I wasn't going crazy. Like, I was just like... You know, letting, giving guys my number, um, going out to eat, going to the club with them, letting them take me out, drinking, just having a good time. Like, I was probably dating, like, three, three guys kind of heavily. Like, really, like, giving them my time. Like, letting them have my time and trying to schedule them out and, you know, making sure I was giving enough attention <laughs> to to them like all kind of equally unless you know it, and except for when I started to like certain ones more then I would blow certain ones off for the other one and they knew like that I was dating and that I wasn't looking for a relationship like they all knew I wasn't looking for a relationship at the time like I told them you know I just got out of a serious relationship that I was in for a while I'm young and I should be having fun like I shouldn't be like trying to settle down with anybody right now like I've been in relationships after relationship after relationship and right now I'm just trying to have fun figure out who I am and travel the world okay so with that being said of course the nicest guy out of the three got the short end of the stick so then there were two oh child these two and let's just say I end up picking one I'm gonna tell y'all that now. I end up picking one. But which one? That's the juicy part. Like, I'm gonna tell you about the one guy. I'll tell you about the other guy. And y'all can kind of guess who I picked. But who do you think I really should have picked? And did I pick the right person? Put all your thoughts and comments down below. If you wanna guess. If you guessed right from the beginning and I'll tell you at the end. We'll see. And I'm gonna give our guys some names, okay? So we're gonna give one... One of their names is gonna be long distance and one short distance. There we go, long distance and short distance. All right, so short distance. We first seen each other out at a club. That's when we like first seen each other. But it really like the friendship relationship happened through social media. And basically one time he pulled up on me at my friend's barbecue she was having like a birthday thing pulled up to me there we talked you know like i said i told him like you know i'm just out here i'm just having a good time i'm not looking for no like long-term committed 
relationship. Um, plus, he had his baggage too. And it's crazy because both of them have like similar, they had similar baggage in the beginning anyway. Well, they both had ex-girlfriends that they were still talking to but weren't together. But I'm just like, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't dealt with something like that. Like, is y'all together? Y'all not together? They were still entertaining them. But I'm like, listen, I'm not looking for nothing anyway. So I'm just not, I'm not trying to get wrapped up in that. Whatever. He made an appearance that, you know, he wasn't dealing with her anymore. You know, he like proved those things and just was just like trying to date me. So we would go out to eat. He always made time for me. Like, and no matter what, he would work around my schedule. He would travel to come see me. We never got in arguments. He wanted to wine and dine me, take me out, buy me things, like just because. And it was some things that like I was not used to. Like wanted to take me to get my nails done, get my feet done. Like he like, oh, we can go together. No shame in his game. Wanted to take me out, like we went to the club. Come on, you coming with me. Even if he was going with his bros. I don't care if they're not bringing a girl, like you coming with me. Like we out. It was just like, show you off, treat you like a queen, treat you like how you supposed to be treated. And it, no shame in my game, like it is what it is. And he wanted to lock it down. Like he was ready to like really be together. And I can say it was me playing games. And I'm just like, I'm not ready. I don't think I'm ready. But honestly, the real reason like I wasn't ready and I wouldn't commit is because I had long distance that I was still dealing with. And I didn't know where that was going. But I think I wanted the long distance to really, really, really be something. But I'm gonna tell y'all why like that was crazy and why I didn't just lock that down and cut short distance off. I clearly kept hanging on to short distance because he treated me and gave me everything that I wanted from long distance. And it was just like, I don't think I'm really ready. I don't think I'm ready to give that up because I'm gonna have to make a decision and I might have to, you know, cut long distance off and go with short distance. Because if I'm really thinking about myself and in the long run, how I wanna be treated and, you know, what I desire for myself, I need to pick that over what I think could be. You feel me? I just think my feelings were like just so much more stronger for long distance than short distance because I met long distance first. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Okay. So that's short distance in a nutshell. Short distance was all about me. Wanted to put me on a pedestal. Wanted to worship the ground I walked on and was ready to lock it down and was willing to wait, like wait wait honey like no matter what i did no matter how i pushed him off he kind of like stopped dealing with me came back because like i was really where he wanted to be at and he was just willing to do any and everything and like make long term plans with me and everything y'all but i guess i was playing games but i was playing games because i didn't know who to choose like, it seems so obvious like duh like choose short distance like it's right in your face but come on ladies how many of us dodge and miss out on the right one or or don't choose the right perfect guy because we're dealing with somebody else who isn't the right perfect guy but it's like how do you yearn and want that one more than the one that wants you back like we all I feel like we all have been through something like that like we don't want the one that's so pressed over us we want the one that's not pressed over us and we should want the one that's pressed over us. Like I was told a while ago, like you should be with a guy who loves you more than you love them because us as females, like we love different. I don't care what nobody say. We love different. If we love you and we're loyal to you, like we're going to give it our all. But if the guy love you, okay, he can love you and be in love with you like you in love with him, but he needs to be more in love with you. So he more afraid to lose you than you are him. And that's probably not healthy, but whatever. Okay. So I told y'all about short distance and how... He was just, you know, he was just great. And like, y'all, like, he was my 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 type in the sense of y'all. Like, y'all know I like that thoroughness, that roughness. But like, he was a type that was like, ah. But also like, you're a princess. You're a queen. I want to worship the ground you walk on. But like, nobody better not step to you because they already know they're going to go through me. They're going to go through a brick wall. So like, yeah, y'all. I was still stuck, y'all. So, long distance. Long distance was more or less on my type time and really matched my energy 100% with the, oh, we just having fun. Neither one of us is really looking for nothing. He also had the the baggage. They both had baggage in the sense of ex-girlfriend with a lot of baggage. And when I mean a lot, a lot, but whatever. 
me and long distance we did a lot together hung out a lot we um made like a lot of memories together we did fun stuff together um he was definitely like the foodie like me adventurous like me and had the thoroughness that i wanted he wasn't as like oh you're just so beautiful oh you're like a queen you know it wasn't that aspect it was more or less like fun like because we both we both were just there for fun opposed to like short distance who started to get more like oh you're a queen long-term relationship like talks and stuff like that and i tried to cut i tried to cut long distance off and be like, you know what? I don't think I can do this. Like, you know, my feelings are starting to get involved. And I was like, you know, do my thing with short distance. But long distance was not for that, y'all. He was like, yo, I know you're not trying to break up with me. And then expressed his feelings and all that. I'm like, oh, so you do have feelings. Oh, so you do like the kid. Okay. So then, y'all, I started getting the both the like getting both things from both people and i'm just like i don't know who to choose like who am i supposed to choose and i'm like should i choose the one that was like super genuine from the start which was short distance like he was ready to give it his all from the get-go but with long distance i had to threaten to break up with his behind so ladies who do you choose like who was i supposed to choose was I supposed to go with who my feelings were like more strong with or was I supposed to go with the one who probably loved me more and I'm talking in this tense because I'm not with neither one of them so but I did make a choice I'm just saying I'm not with neither one of them right now long distance had more severe baggage than short distance but yeah and they also both made some major changes and life changes for me so i'm like oh my god like what did i do wrong if i'm in the dating stage what did i do wrong did i lead both of them on was i supposed to stop but where was i supposed to stop like i was trying to see which one i wanted to be with so where was i supposed to stop the like where in the dating part was i supposed to stop because i think i messed up because i was supposed to stop something like i wasn't supposed to get so serious with both have has have any of you ladies have gotten too serious with both i feel like sort of like a dude in a situation because i feel like this is what dudes do like they get the girls all wrapped up and then that's when i'm coming to you as a woman come like steps in i'm glad i didn't have to have a guy come to a guy as a man you feel me you feel what i'm saying but i know this was my fault you know, this was definitely a not them with me situation because I should have had boundaries that I did not input. But I think it's because I liked both of them and like I could have seen a future with both of them. But I should have seen a future so more, so much more clearly with short distance, but I was clouded by long distance. <sighs> I'm doing this before I put my bronzer on with this awesome brush by Patricia Shanice get with it <sighs> y'all i'm about to tell y'all i'm about to just tell y'all who i chose okay so there was this night right there was this night and i had like a long 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 talk with short distance and i was like explaining to him kind of like the situation and i'm just like you know what i think i'm about to stop playing with you and like really just take it serious with you because you're literally everything like I'm I like would want in a relationship and in a guy like <sighs> Bull was trying like you know like yo like we can go to church and like do all this kind of stuff and this before I was like real deep into church and stuff but like I'm just like okay like he's trying to lead me to the Lord like all this and I was just like you know what I need to stop playing like I need to I need to take him serious like this is this is obvious like duh Naya like deal with him right all right so when I'm like on the verge of like you know what I'ma just, I'ma just like chalk it up and I'ma just have to chalk it up like and, and deal with who is obvious that I should deal with. Then, long distance got a suspense that I was dealing with somebody else. And he ain't like that. So, he stepped his cookies all the way up. Like, 
he like, oh, nah. Like, she dealing with somebody else. Like, he had got the feeling that I was about to really, like, stop messing with him and really be with this other person. So, when I say he stepped all his cookies up, like, and not just this, y'all, but, like, he, like, bought me all this stuff. Then I'm like, whoa, is it Christmas? Is it my birthday? Like, did I do something? He wanted to give me all his time. He wanted to be with me 24-7. Like, he went on all the way boyfriend mode. I'm like, oh, my God. So, what I'm supposed to do now? Because y'all know I really, 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 like, want to be with long distance. But I just had this talk with short distance that, like, you know, I'm about to stop playing and really be with you. <sighs> all right. I think I'm going to just tell y'all right now. So, wait. No. Let me do my lips. <laughs> So I end up choosing dun, 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 dun. Okay y'all. Alright, whatever. I'm dragging it. I end up choosing long distance. <laughs> I end up choosing long distance. I broke it off with short distance and I end up saying like, you know, it's not you, it's me. And I really hope and pray that you find somebody because you're such a great man and you're gonna make somebody happy one day. And you're going to give her the world and she's going to be everything you're looking for. And she's going to reciprocate everything that you're giving to her. I can't reciprocate everything that he was doing and giving me like emotionally, mentally, time wise, like physically. Like I couldn't give him what he was giving me all around because I was tied up in another situation that wasn't the, they, this wasn't supposed to go this far. Y'all. I was stuck between two guys. Like, have you ever been stuck? Like, did you, have you ever had to choose? Uh, long story short, like, short distance is doing great. He's doing fine. Like, he's flourishing, like, in, like, his life, his relationship, and everything. And I'm, like, so, so, so super happy for him. Long distance is also doing great. And me, I'm doing phenomenal. I'm in a happy place, and I'm content, like, with myself. And you don't need to be with someone else until you're content with you, okay? And I'm happy with me, period. Uh, anyway... Yeah, y'all, so I was caught between two guys, and I feel like it's always, like, guys that are caught between multiple females. Have you ever been in the role that I was in? Like, I felt like I was in a nigga role, like. <laughs> so, anyway, y'all, that was my little tea time about something that happened in the past, and, like, maybe you guys can relate, or, like, tell me what I should have did, or where did I go wrong? Like, how could I have fixed the situation? And... To tie this all back, like, how does face look? Like, super soft, glam beat, like, nothing extra. Low brows, foundation, lip gloss, lip liner, eyeliner. I didn't, I put a tiny bit of blush on. I didn't do any highlighter. Just, like, a super chill, cute face. Like, just to go anywhere. Just to go sit in my living room. <laughs> and get on a Zoom call maybe later. Like I said, these brushes were phenomenal. Like, everything went on super smooth. I didn't have to use a lot of product to get the look that I wanted. And that's what I love about these makeup brushes. So, shout out to Patricia Shanice. Purchase yours now. Link will be down below. Only $30. What an amazing deal. Like, get yours today. Period. Support black-owned businesses. Support small businesses. And support these ladies out here that are being girl bosses. Like, shout out to y'all. Like, we popping. Girl bosses. Period. Your CEO is a girl and she a bop. <laughs> Rep your set. Y'all know what I always say. Be the light wherever you go because wherever you go, the light shall follow. I love you guys so much.